Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Sam. And we're Envy Board Gaming, and today we're going to be doing a playthrough of Battlecrest. Now, we've already done one playthrough of Battlecrest, but we wanted to kind of show off some of uh, the newer characters that are available through Button Shy um, that you can get access to. And we are going to be playing those characters. Um, these are coming, I think, in the first expansion that they have. And that is going to be Corvu and Pavel, right? So yeah, so we got a crocodile and we have the uh, snowman. Um, so uh, we'll talk real briefly about their play styles. So if you're familiar with the game, um, great. We're not going to go through a big teach. You'll kind of see how the game plays. If you want an actual more in-depth teach, I would say go check out the other playthrough uh, and you know see how that works. Um, or stick around and maybe you can just catch on. It's a very simple game. So. Anyway, I am going to be playing Corvu. Uh, Corvu is a very much um, wants to be up in your face kind of combat style. Most of his attacks are going to be melee and short range. And his special ability is going to be battle charge, where I'm going to be marching and trying to march through enemies. So it's going to be a march of three plus red. And I can move through enemies. And what I'm going to do after I do that march is that I will target each enemy that I move through with an attack of 2 plus red. Okay, so that is how Corbu's going to play. Uh, Samantha, what about Pavel? Uh, so Pavel, he's a snow golem. Um, the, his star attack is for each primed blue. You may attack 1 plus the yellows that are primed, and he has a range of 4. So a lot of his attacks are ranged, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, probably a little bit quite different, the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. You're going to try to stay away, and I'm going to try to get in your face. Yeah. So um, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump in. Um, if you don't know how to play it, so essentially turns are uh, everybody takes two actions. You have four options. You have move, activating a card. Uh, you can prime a card or refocus. So you'll be able to see how those actions work as we play through the game so i am first player so i will go first my first action i'm going to take is going to be to move so i have a movement of five based on adding up the little uh like cog icons on the top right of my active card so one one two one is five so i'm going to move five spaces i'm going to go one two three four five And then, let's see here. How mm, do I want to set myself up for this? Because I can't move again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you could prime. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm going to activate. I'm going to activate here. And so I'm going to activate Heavy Slash. So my first... Half of Heavy Slash is going to be a March 4. So 1, 2, 3. I'm going to stop there. Um, and I would get an, an extra movement because I was here when I started. So this will get flipped over. This is a, uh, a, a map bonus. Uh, so whenever I take a movement ability, including March, uh, this is going to be used up. So I will flip this over. Um, and it's not, it's mandatory, you have to flip it over. So even if I don't use the movement. So I'm going to move there. So March 4, and then I'm going to do an attack 2 plus white. I have no white symbols as of right now. So it's just going to be a base value of 2 melee. So you are within range. And you get to decide if you would like to block. Okay. Hmm. I will block... Defend, I guess I should say. <laughs> hmm. Let me I'll block. What do you think, Aaron? One. You only use one card. Yeah. So, so I'm just blocking one. So you're gonna take one damage. So our health bars are uh our health is determined by the position of our little health card. Okay, so that was my first and second action. So Samantha, it is now your turn. All right, so let's see. So I'm going to move. 
Are you sure? Yeah. So you have a movement of four. Yeah. So one, two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna stay there. You're gonna stay right there. Yeah. Okay. And so. Uh, so you're trying to stay in range. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate this card. So it's an attack one plus yellow. Okay. A so range of four. Of range of four. Yeah. Okay. So. Pack of two range of four. How do I want to do this? All right. Um, I am going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to block one, so I will take one. Okay. And then what's the second half? And then the second is attack two from five. Range five. Okay. And I will, it's another attack two. Yeah. I will, hmm. I like the idea of that. I'm going to use this, actually, and I'll just block one. So I will take another hit. Okay. So that was your second action? Yeah. Right? So make sure you turn it and make sure it's yep. in. So you should turn it and then um, complete the actions on them. Okay. So then it's back to me. I'm actually going to activate first. So I am activating Running Heave. Uh, the first is going to be a March of three. So I'm going to go one, two, here. And then I am doing an attack of one plus green. So one, two, three. I have four greens, and it is a axe, so um, short range. So anything that is... Uh, within the eight spaces surrounding me. So I will hit you with an attack of four. Mm, okay. Well. Yeah. Hefty. I'm turning this one. So I have two. Yep. So I'll so take, take two, two damage. And then for my second action, I'm going to refocus. Where I am going to flip the cards. Because they are all double-sided with other abilities on the other side. And they will all become active. So all that are that were exhausted or primed um, become active again. You just flip to the other side. So that'll be my turn. I activate it and refocus. Okay. That was a quite, quite a good hit for me. I felt good about that turn. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm moving. So, okay. so you have one is your move. Oh, that's it? Yeah, because you only have one, uh, one primed. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, um... I guess I'm going to have to stay there. Okay. Um, yeah. So then second one, I'm activating my attack. So okay. it's two plus the white symbol. So three. And it's three range. Um, yeah. If you can get me. Mm hmm So it's an attack of three. Yeah. What do I want to do? Definitely need to defend. I think I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one in block two. So I'm going to use Dragon Dash as a defense of two. So I will take one damage. And okay. then back to me. Interesting. You do have that one defense. Sitting there to help. Mm -hmm. Um. So I need to be extra smart, but I don't want to do this. Um. I do like that ability, though. Yeah. Oh, you have no, and you have no cards to defend. Oh, oh, oh! This is a great opportunity then. Samantha. All right. No. I am I am definitely taking advantage of this. So 
I am, for my first action, I'm going to activate Boast. So I have two star abilities. Now, each ability can only be used once. I can't use them both on the same. So my first star ability is going to be this attack two here on the Dying Guardian location. So I'm going to use that attack two. It is an axe, so it is a short range. So you work within. Mm, and so unfortunately, I can't target you with both of them because I could target two, but it has to be different. So an attack of two for the first one. All right. Well, then I can only block one, right? Right. So you can only block one using that defense there. Okay. And then for my second star, I am actually going to use um, my battle charge ability. So I have a march of three plus one, since I have a red symbol here. So I get to move four spaces. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And then I will do an attack of two plus red. So an attack of three damage. So... Ouch. Yeah, three damage, no defense. So you were going to drop one. And then she flips over, two, and then three. So she's down to five health. So right now we are sitting at nine and five. But that was my first action. I have one action left. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do I want to do? Uh, I so think... So you were able to use this and that? Yep, because I had two stars. As one act? Oh, that's I had two right. stars. So I think what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to refocus for my second action. So these two that I used will flip over. Uh, and that's what we're going to go with right there. I like it. No, I'm sure you do. I do, and I have I have seven movement now. Okay. So. Um, oh, I have to refocus. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, you do. <laughs> can't prime. You can't move. No. You couldn't activate. So you kind of have to. Okay. Well, now I have this symbol. Yes. So now that these health cards flip over, you have access to an additional yep. white symbol. I don't know what to call them. I don't, I don't know if they have... They, they look like snowman names. buttons. I think they actually do have names around the back of the character cards, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. They look like snowman Let me buttons. Check. So. I'll double check. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Uh, Beastly Knight, Fearless, Scourge, and Dragon's Blood is mine. I'm just curious. Let me see. Yours is called Heart of Coal. See, they are buttons. Yeah. It's your Heart of Coal. It's very uh, very much like Samantha. I'm, <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. You have an um, extra Heart of Coal. <laughs> Great. Okay. Um. Uh, so you are there. Yep, I'm right there. Right there. Mm, man, I'm in not a good. You're in a great place. spot. New. All right. So short range what you gonna do all right so i can attack you for four using this card that is melee so it's only orthogonally up down left right it's not diagonal oh with the with the um short range it says touching side to side though yeah but we're not touching side to side we're touching corner to corner oh you okay need short range which is the axe okay i was looking at that i thought diagonal yeah all right, well, that won't work either. No, it won't. So. Unfortunately. Okay, well, I'm going to move then. Okay, so you have a movement of seven. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Okay. Um. And I can know what nope. I have to go. You gotta that be on way. the other side. Yep. Five. Okay. Six. Mm. Seven. No, you can't move diagonal. You have to move down. Oh, seven. Yeah. All right. All right. Done there. Mm hmm. So you moved. What is your second action going to Well, no, to? I primed and then I moved. 
Are you refocused? Not or not primed, refocused. So all right, I so you're all do. done. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. I have seven movement, and I can get to her. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna, just going to sit there and let you get me twice. Oh, well, I'm going to get you twice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get you lots of times. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move. I have a movement of seven, so I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to use a shortcut. Three, four, five. So I won't use the extra movement. Okay, so that's my movement. And then I'm going to activate Vicious Claws, which has an attack of three melee. Mm -hmm. So I'm attacking for three first, and then I have a star ability. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know, I'm excited. Star ability. So, you're attacking for how much? Three? For three. Mm -hmm. You got a couple two defenses. Man. I don't want to... Dang it. Okay, I'll turn this in black too. Okay, so she takes one. And then for my star ability, I'm going to use Battle Charge. So again, it's three plus red, but I have no reds. So I'm just going to go one, two. I'm going to just move two. And then I'm going to hit you with two plus red. Again, no red, so it's an attack of two. Mm. I wanted to go there to put a block on you. <sighs> Another, you want to take that defense? Oh, oh, just blocking one. All right. We're whittling you down. You're down to three. And that's my turn. Hmm. Holy Spirit, activate. <laughs> what you going to do? What you thinking, boss? I've got you in some tough positions this, this game. Mm. Yeah, I know. Um, I, li I like Corvu's play style. I like the in your face. I think it plays very much to his vicious battle axe wielding crocodile. The it's only thing cool. that sucks is when you get close to me like that, I then have to spend an action to move mm. to then do any kind of range. Right now, yeah, your movement is four. So and my movement's five. So if you do run away, I well, won't be able to catch you unless you I'm just like gonna a march attack later. for four. Oh, you gonna attack me for a four? Yeah. Okay, I will use this, and I'm just gonna block for one. So I'm gonna take three. So I'm gonna go one, two. Three, so I'm down to six now, but I do have access to a red symbol, which is nice for my battle charge. I do like that. Now my battle charge is even stronger. All right, so I don't know what you're gonna do now. Hmm. I'm gonna have to move. Oof. All right. Man. No active defense anywhere. Can I go through you? Nope. You can go through me, though. Well, only when I use my battle charge. <sighs> if you had Whisper, the flying kitty guy, you could fly One, through me. One. Uh, two. Three. Mm. Yeah. All right. All done? Yeah. You and a defense of two. Okay. Well, I'm going to end the game, I think. So I'm going to move. I have a movement of four. Uh, one, two, three. And then I am going to do Earth Ripper, which is an attack of three plus green. So it's an attack of five. <clears throat> well, I block... Two, two, but you only have three health. Yeah. So you take three damage, 
meaning dead. <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, that's Corvo for you there. So that was. <sighs> he is very intense, very much in your face. It was a fast game. It was, I, and, and usually our games are a lot. I think I just I got a good synergy going here, especially that last one when I had it flipped over before. I was like, "Ooh, I know I have a lot of green symbols on the other side." When I had these ones already activated, so when I flipped them and I saw that, I was like, "Oh, I can chain that." And I mean, I love the ba the battle charge feels super strong. He has yeah. a lot of movement. I feel like well, he has you a can lot of move movement. through enemies. Yeah, with this one, yep. So, so yeah. it can any of the other characters move their enemies? Well, I mean, Whisper flies, so you can fly. True. Over yeah. Um, I, I just feel so. like a lot of. I mean, if I'm far away, it works. But I, uh, some of my turns, I have to move and to I, then use any. And I utilized a lot of shortcuts. So I used yeah. shortcuts when I came down here. I used it when I came down here to get you. I used it when I came up there to really maximize my movement. And so, you know. And we might have talked about this in the other playthrough, but really using those bonuses mm -hmm. where you can, like kind of setting yourself up um, bonus-wise is a big thing, like being able to get extra force. We didn't really actually force each other at all um, and push people around and try to, you know, but you can get hazards involved. So, so yeah, so... Um, I got you down to six, though. You did. I was down to six. You did hit pretty hard. I got I you mean, halfway. I four. And that might be your only... Uh, short range attack, I think that you have. I mean, you're pretty much yeah, all right. locked into that long range. You do have a little bit of forcing, so maybe you can push people away and then attack them. That would be a good one with Avalanche. Um, but yeah, that's that's a tricky one. And trying to, I mean, it is really neat if you can get it to trigger where you get a bunch of primed blue symbols, whatever they're called. What are they called? They're called Winterborn. So if you can get a lot of Winterborn. Symbols and just pummel like you could really make people waste all their cards uh, if you get two, three blue symbols primed. That's yeah. Good stuff. So yeah. So uh, that is going to be our playthrough of Battle Crest Corvu versus Pavel. Um, go check it out on um, the uh, Button Shy website. I believe they're like four dollars for each character. I believe you can actually get them in like a little pack. Um, and they even have alternate art cards for the other characters that you can get in case you want to have the two, the same two people going up against each other. Like Athena, I think was one. Uh, I think there's a, an alternate for Whisper as well as for uh, Forge, those other guys. So you can get multiples of the same characters and have them square off against one another. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, give you a little bit of a taste at least for how Corbu plays. Um, just know Pavel, it's a little tricky to get, but, I mean, if you can get it going, it could be really good. Yeah, if you can stay away, um, <laughs> then it might work better. Corvu might be your uh, kryptonite. I don't know. Yeah. So he is definitely one of my favorite characters as of right now with playing Battle Crest. But, um, yeah, thanks for stopping by and checking out the playthrough. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And click the little bell icon so you get a notification every single time we post a video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.